You may not realize it, but some of your neighbors are already working in the sort of high technology firms that Michigan's political leaders desperately are trying to attract. In many cases, they're companies which have started with little more than a dream and no government handouts. Well, tonight and tomorrow on Action News, reporter Steve Handelsman will profile two such companies, outfits I'll bet you've never heard about, in a Target 7 series called Hidden Tech. Steve, how are you going to begin? Well, we're going to start with uh, a local company that's doing exactly what's being done in California's famous Silicon Valley, but with one important difference. The k company is developing computer software programs like many West Coast firms. But guess who's growing faster and guess who's beating the competition? You may not have heard of k or seen the company offices in Troy, but the bosses at Atari and Apple and IBM and Commodore know they're here. It all started with fun. When video games like Donkey Kong or Ice Castles are a big hit in the arcades or on one home computer, the company which owns the game wants it programmed for other home computers. K-Byte programmers like Greg Broniak do the job, one video frame at a time. We are doing work for every major manufacturer in the country in, in a 12-month period. And the reason for that is, is because we're good. Pat Flynn has attracted 40 top programmers to his mushrooming company. People like former medical student Keith Dreyer, a doctor who's teaching home computers to sound like musical instruments. As you're playing the notes, the keys get staffed up on the screen. You mean the music writes itself on the screen that's as you right, play? That's right. So you can learn to read from the music and play, or you can learn to play and, and see, see how it looks. That's exactly right. Anybody ever written software that's done that before? At this point, not, not for a home market. It's, and uh, you're doing it? And we're trying it right now. That's right. We have more talent here. We've got a good work ethic, a good sense of productivity, a high sense of quality, and more important than anything else, get the job done on time. Flynn pays big bonuses to programmers who can meet tight deadlines. Computer companies always are trying to beat competitors to the stores with winning programs. And it's all paying off. In September 1982, K-Byte had five employees. Today, the company has up to 140 people, including part-timers, in Troy and Gaylord, Michigan. Flynn could take his company anywhere, but he plans to stay here. To me, there's only one reason, it's people. It's, it's people. I've said that before. Uh, uh, Michigan, Michigan attitude. Uh, we're deadline oriented. We're quality oriented. We won't take no for an answer. Now, I've, I've, seen, I've seen the programmers here when, when they know there's a deadline. Okay? I've come in, there's been sleeping bags on the floor. We don't even go home. Now, there are firms out in California that offer the same service you offer. That's right. And they're out there where it's sunny all the time, where That's supposedly right. all this hot computer stuff is happening. That's right. You're telling me that the people who work there, who may look a lot like the people who work here. That's right. And it may look like they're doing the same thing. That's right. They're not doing it as well because they're not from Michigan. That's what the facts say. Getting the job done, man. That's what counts. <laughs> I love the way he says that. Patrick Flynn is a charismatic guy, and we're going to have more on him tonight at 11. My quick thought, Steve, he is getting the job done. Are they hoping to become the Apple of the future, perhaps uh, developing their own hardware and so forth? Well, I, I, first of all, one doesn't know exactly where a company that's moving as fast as this is headed. But in the short term, developing a whole computer system is not what they're interested in. Instead, they want to develop software and hardware that can work together. For example, you're on an assembly line in an auto plant, and you've got a little computer right there, not some computer that's hooked into some giant mainframe, but just a little one right there. You can program in the information that you can take off the line, and uh, they might write a program and have the whole hardware set up so you can get useful information back to help, for example, with quality control right there on the scene, and no one else is doing that. Did they give you a sneak preview behind, uh, besides that uh, music? That was fascinating. Anything else they're developing, they give you a little sneak? Well, they're working on games, but they realize, of course, that games are fast fading in the video world, and their big thing, as you say, uh, referring to the music, is right. education. And so uh, whatever is out there in the educational field is what they're interested in. But you're not going to get a whole lot of details because this is a, a very competitive field. There are a lot of companies doing this kind of thing here in Michigan. There aren't many doing this kind of software writing in Michigan. Around the country, there are some, of course, in the Massachusetts area, uh, the so-called uh, uh, Ring Road Route 128 in Massachusetts, and then uh, in Silicon Valley uh, near San Francisco. But uh, 
This company is growing faster than any of them, and it's right here and means to stay here. The important thing means we're being competitive That's with right. Silicon Valley. That's great. Mm -hmm. We'll see Thank you again at 11. Thanks, Steve. More tonight. Right.